Oops. So immersive, dude. That's what I want in my Devil May Cry immersion. I have not played a game on a controller in like an exceedingly long time. Oh, my neck just exploded, dude. You know what's going to be so fun when I eventually go back and do DMC1 no hit again? Because I got to do it again because this game sucks. That's going to be so fun. <laughs> <laughs> That was the last thing I did in this game, is no hit. Bruh. What I think about DMC5 is doo doo, but. They eat the poo poo. They eat the poo poo. Is the game too quiet? Should I turn it up? I feel like this game is way more quiet than Left 4 Dead. I started blasting. I said I'll have turbo setup moment. Left 4 Dead 2 is the loudest video game on planet Earth. That might be true. Well, those Valve games are just like that. Dolphin emulator is also super loud by default for some reason. That macro is banned for speedruns? Not if the speedrun category is based. Like DMC1. Well, for normal it is banned, but like, who gives a fuck? Fuck the leaderboard. You could use macros in DMD. My favorite game to speed on, Left 4 Dead 2 for sure. The game is goaded. That's true, next run. Fun fact speedrun Biohazard Zero. Speed run your way out of my chat room and never come back, please. Thank you. Or call Veronica? Or find somewhere else to watch? Like, I don't know. Like, what do you want from me, dude? Leave. I feel please go to sleep. I'm not tired though. I had a nice like good like 10 hours sleep and I've only been awake for like six hours. Just suggestions. I don't really see them getting attention. 
Maybe because the people asking for the, the speedruns of those games just go into random streams that I've never seen them talking before and just demand that you do something else. What's up, Dirk? When's it going good? How you doing? Suggestions usually don't... They're not like a, demands. They're two different things, you know, like... You didn't say like... You know, could you please speedrun this? Or like, or have you ever thought about speedrunning this? You just said... Speedrun this. Speedrun RE0. I'm sorry to have to teach you social skills in a random Twitch stream. Probably weren't expecting that today, but like... That's disrespectful. Now you've learned. What's up, Bradley? You missed Left 4 Dead, basically. That's because you're a well-mannered adult, Sather. Have you thought about speedrunning RE0? No, because I've never played it before. I'm not really a big fan of RE speedruns in general, so. I don't really have any interest. But thank you for asking politely, Reapin. I finally beat this no damage. Kind of. I didn't get hit by any enemies in the whole game, but I took damage over time from the lava and the Mundus fight. Kinda counts, kinda doesn't. I'm gonna do it again in the future. I just don't know when. IMO counts as a hit since it's avoidable. I agree, which is why I haven't posted it yet. But no hit runs are dog shit, and I hate them. Bethany Big leaves for 29 months. 29 months. Shouldn't you be giving me a ring at this point? Good to see your Yo, Chaney. With the best of them, T Dog. Thank you for the primer for the 29 months. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. No ring for you, sorry. That's reserved for someone else. But yeah, I agree. Yeah. The thing that sucks is that no hit runs are fucking boring. And that it takes you about 50 minutes to get to Mundus for it to just be completely RNG. So it's like you play a really boring no hit run for 50 minutes just to get to the end and have the entirety of the fate of the run be decided by RNG. You played Mind Goblin on PS1? You Mind Goblin my balls? Got him.
Got him. <laughs> uh, I don't remember the buy route. No, we're talking about no hit runs, Campy. There is a lot of RNG in this game. But specifically in this circumstance, we're talking about no damaging the final boss being RNG. It's like I was trying to do like single segment, no hit, the whole game, no items. And I basically did it, but I had to avoid one of his attacks, the final boss by jumping into lava that did damage over time. So like, I'm not happy with it and I want to do it again. But the thing that sucks about it is that basically, like you just do a no hit run for 50 minutes. And then by the time you get to the final boss, like you've been playing for like 55 minutes and no damaging the final boss is literally just random because he has a bunch of different random attacks that he can do and they can overlap in ways that make it impossible to dodge them. So, it really sucks that the final boss is like that. Which makes no hit running this game hyper ass. I don't think I fucked up the orb route yet. I played this guy, I know. That's an actual game, I know it is. I didn't get sucked with I fucking hate RPGs. Let alone turn based ones. It was a game with a good no hit speed run. There aren't any. That's the problem. No hit runs are just dumb. It doesn't matter what game you're playing. They're just awful. They're boring and painful and super RNG heavy. Why can I not afford your hike? Dude, fuck the police. I don't need your hike. Who needs air hike, dude? Air hike overrated. Long have we waited. Now nah, I'm in a special bonus eight. It's all by air hike for nine. I don't know why. I couldn't afford air hike. I'm I think I bought one too many holy waters. Yeah, I did scampy. It's pretty sick. Speeder and Legend of Zelda randomizer. I have actually. Link to the Past Rando is really fun. I love it. I picked up the Grand Gun, right? Okay, thank God. Yeah, I have three Holy Waters right now. I'm supposed to have zero. That's why I couldn't afford one. <laughs> That's why I couldn't afford a hike.
were just talking about that earlier, where I was like, I've always wanted to learn A Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, No Major Glitches. But I'm afraid of Nintendo. I don't want all my YouTube content to just disappear one day because I did some speed runs. No, Black Joker. I don't even own a Switch. How'd that miss? How are you alive? What? I ended it before the fetish was dead? Ever thought about doing a speedrun of all the DMC games in chronological order? I guess I could. I mean, I've done a speedrun or two of every DMC game in release order. Besides reboot, because that game blows cock. But... Um... It's really long. <laughs> it's really long. And... All of the games are hard speedruns. Well, I guess except for DMC1. I definitely prefer DMC2. How did you die? I, okay. RNG health going me, I guess. Like, getting a good time in DMC2 is really fucking hard. Getting a good time in DMC3 is really fucking hard. Getting a good time in DMC4 is really fucking hard. Getting a good time in DMC5 is really fucking hard. And like, actively not being rusty at all of those games at once is basically impossible. Um, but I'd love to do it again at some point. My main problem was that I was super rusty at DMC 2, and 4, and 5. My 1 and 3 was pretty good when I did it. I was like active world record holder for 1 and had like 3rd place in 3 at something, or something at the time. But, like if I was to do it now, it would fucking take like 10 hours because every game I'd be super rusty. What's up, Bubbles? Doing good. Bayonetta is a doo-doo game made by a doo-doo director who makes doo-doo games. And the speedrun has way too much button mashing for my taste. Beautiful Joe is cool. I've never played it, but it looks cool. Have you played Resident Evil 4? Can't say I have. What's that? The MC2 is actually a really sick speed run, but it's quite hard. I should never stinger that. I should just do the 
jump prompt. You know the mod RE4? Our mod for RE4 World S? I just said I've never played RE4 before. But yeah, I know of it. I was planning on playing it and then Format came out. But it's not even finished, so like whatever. I missed the double hit. This is so sad. But I won't miss the quick kill on Griffin. Surely. Surely I won't miss the quick kill on Griffin. Let's go. I got the fastest version of it too. Bye Griffin. Yeet. I have not played Sekiro. I've been told that I would like it. And I think I would, but I've never played it. It feels so weird playing this game and like not being on DMD or not collecting everything. Like I ran DMD AC for so long and it's so much harder than any percent normal that like when I play any percent normal it feels like I'm not even playing the game. It's such an easier category. But like, it's weird though. Like, DMZ 1 is a hard game. Like, 80% normal is a really hard speedrun. Unless you have a thousand hours in the game like me, and then it's really easy. <laughs> like, but when I, it took me like years to learn this category and actually be like even remotely good at it. And like, if you see someone pick up DMZ 1 as a speed game, it. Like, it looks really hard, because it is, even any percent normal, but like when you spend so much time playing DMD, normal just becomes so easy. It's really weird. I think Maxi ran that at GDQ, Cheney. Decent speed run. I don't know if that was the right game, but it was a Lord of the Rings game on PS2. The movie one. It's got like all the movie scenes in it. Yes, I've played RE6. Awesome. I have no idea then.
I do go this way, right? I'm supposed to be using untouchable strats. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. This game requires more skill for speedrunning. DMC2 or RE4R? Definitely RE4R, but DMC2 is a really hard speed game, actually. It's definitely harder than... Well, it depends on what category. For other games, but... I don't know, like, DMC2 is a hard run. It's way harder than RE2 Remake. Definitely way harder than RE3 Remake as well. Way harder than RE1 Remake. It's a fucking hard game. When you're speedrunning it. Yeah, Infested Chopper is actually like a really hard boss fight too. If you mess up the Majin setup, it's like so fucked, actually. Yeah, when are you gonna run DMC2? We got Dizzy to run it for like 10 seconds, but he rage quit. And Dan ran it for a little bit, but Dan can't stick to running anything. Slickford supposedly is supposed to run it, but Slickford hasn't ran anything in like a year. Are you for remakes the hardest speedrun of all RE? Uh, I don't know. It's. I, like, it doesn't make sense to be gauging RE4 Remake's quality or difficulty of a speedrun this early because it's, it's going to be a completely different speedrun in like every two weeks. Okay, then when's more DMC3? But as it stands right now, I mean, if you're just talking New Game Pro, it's it's definitely very difficult. It's probably this. It's up there with original RE4 for sure. Those two being the hardest ones, and like three make following like pretty far behind, but being the next closest. Hey, Bradley. Maybe DMC3 soon? That would be sick, dude. I'd love to see some DMC3 from you. DMC3's been dead since Loner got a record. I haven't seen Zerks do any runs. I haven't seen Simo or Heist do any runs. Yo, Bubbles, thanks for the 25 biddies. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, Yang. Obviously, nothing wrong with that. When are you gonna do more DMC3 runs, Asenium? Huh, motherfucker? Are there style categories for DMC speedruns? I'm not sure what you mean. Like. Trickster speedrun, Royal Guard speedrun, Gunslinger speedrun. No. None of the other runs are at all interesting. In DMC3. The only interesting category would be Royal Guard. 
RE4 Remake Pro feels a lot harder than the OG. Well, it's because there's no strats. RE4 OG has 18 years worth of fucking cooking. Dude, it's been... They've, we've been letting it cook for a while. The remake is brand new. Been loitering in FPS games. It's a waste. Your true potential lies within the DMC3 speedrunning community. Style ranking categories? I'm not sure what you mean. Like S rank everything? This game has 100% and in 100% you have to S rank everything. But it's the only game that has that. Usually you just get S ranks anyways. Like in DMC3, you basically S rank the entire game in a speedrun normally. The only difference would be you wouldn't use Holy Waters on Mundus, I guess. That'd be like that. That's it, basically. It's the only difference. Or not Mundus. Arkham. Too old to be an FPS god, but I pray twice a day to Andrew Huberman and his brain optimizing shenanigans. Bro, use the Andrew Huberman brain optimizing shenanigans to be the best DMC3 player ever. That's way cooler than being an FPS god, and it's way easier too. Less competition. Yeah, SGDQ is in like three weeks. I'll be there. I'll be on Cosmic's couch for DMC4. Not running this time, no. To be fair, last time I did get three runs in. Last time I ran Halo Infinite All Missions, DMC1, DMD All Collectibles, and Left 4 Dead 2 Co-op. No, I can only afford two Holy Waters. So... I'm kind of tapped out for a while. Although I thought for sure RE4 OG Randomizer was going to get in. But it didn't, so... Unlucky. Submit that in the future, I guess. Also it gives me like another six months to not actually do it, but I could potentially optimize cake in DMC3 and submit that. But like, am I going to play DMC3 and optimize cake in the next six months? Probably not. Probably not. I've been saying that for the last like three GDQs that I'll optimize cake and then submit it, but I never do. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Uh, yeah, RE6 is actually RE6 co-op. Jake's campaign, I believe. It's a bid war between Jake's and Ada's campaign. RE6 co-op.
I am like broke. Never mind, I have three holy waters. I thought I only had two. <laughs> He's been in general, RE4 remake is harder. I can see that. I mean, for a lot of people, OG RE4 is really difficult just because the controls are difficult. Definitely, it's a lot easier to control what's happening in Formake. Except for, you know, controlling where you actually put your bullets when you shoot. That's not up to you. But that's okay, smiley face. Skate 3 speedrun. I love Skate 3, but man, I would fucking hate that speedrun. <laughs> I like playing, when I play Skate 3, I'm like, uh, alright, I'm playing on a hardcore mode, low camera angle. I'm just gonna sit on this ledge for six hours and try to like recreate a realistic skateboarding line because that's what I find fun. But the Skate 3 speedrun is like, you're basically playing Tony Ox Pro Skater. You know, you're like 360 hard flip, 360, like, bounce off the floor glitch to like land in manual revert like fucking triple backflip off the walkway land in a combo run out jump onto a fucking railing somewhere else like that's like what the whole speedrun is this is not what I like about the game at all that's also presumably why the speedrun isn't very popular I still have record in this game for like most categories, yeah. So I've never walk alone. How you doing, brother? Awesome, I appreciate that. Hopefully it'll be a weekly reoccurrence again. I only needed four hits. It's fine though. Bruh. Thank you. I have record in every category except for Normal all collectibles, DMD all collectibles, and any percent normal. Two holy waters. We're good on holy waters. For the rest of the run. Trolling. I was supposed to aerate right there. You play a lot of these older games before you started speedrunning, or you started playing them because of speedrunning? There are only like three or four games that I play where I only play them because of speedrunning. Basically, all these games are nostalgia bait for me. Like, I played them a lot when I was younger. Like DMC1 is probably my first ever video game. Either it's either that or Super Mario World or some V Smile game. It's up there though, it's like some of the first I've ever played.
That's Cosmo Climb. You're about to eat enchiladas. Bro, I'm so hungry. I'm jealous. Before the next game, I definitely gotta get a snack at least. I don't have enough money. Tragic. Ow, my hand. Thank you. It's better than GDQs, not gonna lie. Well, I really appreciate that. Thank you. I am glad it went well. I couldn't be more proud. I think that the production w went amazing. I'm very stoked about how it went. I love doing stuff like that. I wish I could do it more often. It's just a huge time investment and there's not really a huge return on investment financially for me. So it's like, I just do it because I like to do it and I like to give back to the community and stuff. I was thinking about doing smaller stuff though. Like I was debating on putting like a bounty up for time splitters future perfects to see someone get sub one hour. I don't know if I'd be able to put up enough money to make people actually do it though. But that's the problem with doing bounties and stuff is like I need a lot of money on the table to make people do it. Like, that's why most Criticals challenges work, is because he's like, okay, well, here's 10 grand. But, like, I don't got most Critical money, unfortunately, so I can't just dump 10 grand every, like, three months. I can maybe put down a grand every three months. If, like, I'm being ballsy about it. One day, though, maybe I'll have big enough content farm that I could throw events like that more often. But I gotta focus on me and mine first. Looks like we have a winner. I mean, the only reason that there was that much viewership on the event is because it was the perfect time for the perfect game and everyone competing in the event already had large audiences and it happened to be playing the same game at the same time. Like, the fucking odds of that happening are like zero. GG. Sub 50, let's go. Like, in order to get an event, to be like that like the stars have to align everything has to be perfect like re4 remake just came out it's like the biggest game ever there's like several so 5,000 plus viewer andes hey sub 40 oh, i got sub 40 what the fuck that's actually pretty sick yeah whatever rock on thanks for 3,000 bitties appreciate that um yeah thank you so much that was a good run actually all the stars have to align for an event to have that kind of viewership.